I am Sam. I hope you all are doing well. And today's video is going to be about handling infeasibility with IBM iLag like CPLEX Optimization Studio. So let's get right into the video. Sometimes the combination of constraints and bounds in a problem is such that there is no feasible solution. For example, in a nurse scheduling problem, you have three nurses, A, B, and C. Your constraints include Nurse A doesn't get along with Nurse B, so they cannot work together. Nurse B doesn't get along with Nurse C, so they cannot work together. And the job requires two skills. Nurse A and Nurse C both have one of those skills, and Nurse B has the other. This video shows you how to detect and resolve this type of situation in linear programming problems using two CPLEX techniques available in OPL. One of these techniques is conflict refinement. Another technique is minimal relaxation. This video includes a review of two methods and practice with a simple nurse scheduling example. Infeasibility in a linear programming model can be caused by either the existence of at least two constraints in conflict, meaning all possible solutions to one are excluded from being a solution to the other or unbounded constraint that render the search for an optimal solution impossible. OPL provides two techniques in the CPLEX optimizer engine to help you resolve such problems. The first technique is conflict uh, refinement. The conflict refinement technique finds constraints that are in conflict. A conflict is a set of mutually contradictory constraints or bounds within a model. In other words, it's impossible for all the constraints to be true. A conflict is said to be a minimal conflict if it becomes feasible when any one constraint or bound is removed from the set. This minimal conflict usually concerns a subset of constraints in the full model, thus making it easier to analyze the source of infeasibility. OPL's conflict refinement technology finds a minimal conflict for you. The second technology is relaxation. Relaxation suggests minimal changes in constraints that will render the model feasibility by relaxing one or more of the bounds defined in the constraints. A relaxation is, mod uh, is a modified model where some of the restrictions on decision variables or constraints have been relaxed. For example, an integer decision variable could become a continuous decision variable. In another example, a decision variable could have its bounds relax from 0 to 100 to 0 to 200. Or, in another example, the right-hand side of a range constraint uh, could be relaxed from 10 to 12. Okay, let's see the capabilities of these two technologies uh, through a simple nurse scheduling example. Working from the nurse scheduling example, we will solve the model and discover that it is infeasible then we will analyze and understand the suggested conflicts and relaxation by CPLEX. Based on the suggested uh, conflicts and relaxation, then we will change some data and execute the project again to find a solution to the feasible model. The nurse scheduling example describes a nurse scheduling problem. The hospital human resources department needs to create work schedules for nurses and nurse teams. A good schedule is an optimal one, meaning a schedule that meets as many of the hospital's overall goals as possible. If some of these goals provide incompatible, then the solution consists in nevertheless finding a schedule that will work out. In other words, a feasible schedule. The goals include staffing each hospital department with the proper number of nurses at all times. Matching nurses and nurses' skills, such as a board of the department. Establishing a minimum and maximum number of hours worked per week. Maximizing fairness in how nurses are allocated to shifts, meaning making sure that no nurses are scheduled for 50 hours a week when others are scheduled for only 25 hours. Incorporating best practice guidelines such as trying to schedule nurses with compatible skills or with a proven history of working well together on the same team. 
taking into account individual nurse preferences for days off as much as possible. And finally, keeping salary costs to a reasonable level. Sometimes, several of these goals will conflict. For example, during a week when many nurses are on vacation. In such a case, the solving engine finds no solution. As this is not acceptable because a hospital needs a nurse schedule, uh, you have to make choices, prioritize the goals, and relax some constraints accordingly. Here is our nurse scheduling example. The project of this uh, example includes three different files. The first file is the model file. In the model file, we declare our input data, for example, the data related to the shift or the data related to the skill requirements. And after declaring our input data, uh, we should define the decision variables of our mathematical model. When we are done with defining our decision variables, we should define the objective function of our problem, which is the minimization of the cost. Finally, we should define our business constraints based on the defined decision variable. For example, the business constraint related to the allocation of the resources. The other file is the data file. So in the model file, we declare our input data, but in the model file, we initialize our input data based on the declared data. So for example, here we have initiated this set of skills or the sets of departments, or we have uh, information about nurses, such as the name and work, their work requirements. And finally, we have the setting data, which is related to the all parameters and settings related to the algorithms and performance of CPLEX optimizer. Before solving our mathematical model with CPLEX, we should make sure that the relaxations and conflicts technologies of CPLEX are activated. To that end, uh, First, we should go to the settings file, and after that, we should go to the run section under the language tab. And in this window, you can see two options, display relaxations and display conflicts. We should make sure that these two options are checked. Otherwise, relaxations and conflicts technologies of CPLEX don't work. As these two options are checked here, now we can start solving our problem. In order to solve our mathematical model with CPLEX, first we right click on the run configuration and select run this. After a few seconds, CPLEX uh, will solve our mathematical model. So when uh, our mathematical model is solved, we can see the information about the solution in the problem browser window and also in the solutions tab. In the problem browser window, you can see this term, relaxed solution. And if we go to the solutions tab, we can see feasible, relax some of the infeasibilities. It means that our original problem instance that is generated based on our mathematical model and our input data is infeasible, meaning that it does not have no feasible solution. But CPLEX automatically detects the infeasibility and relax some of the constraints in order to change the infeasible problem instance to a feasible problem instance. When the CPLEX model proves infeasible, the conflicts tab shows the places where uh, we can change the data or the way filtering constraints are expressed in order to remove incompatibilities that made the model infeasible. Moreover, the relaxations tab shows the places that constraints can be relaxed to remove the incompatibilities that made the model infeasible. 
it's worth mentioning that unlabeled constraints are not considered for conflict and relaxation search process. So in order to use the conflicts and relaxation capabilities of CPLEX, you should make sure that you have already labeled all of your constraints in the model file. And in order to label your constraints, you can choose any name you want for your constraints. As you can see here, we have some examples as the, for the labels of the constraints. So you can use any name you want to label your constraints. Without doing labeling, actually you cannot use relaxation and conflicts technologies of CPLEX. As I already mentioned, when the model is proved infeasible, OPL also searches for possible conflicts between the constraints of the model. And the conflict is a set of constraints that cannot be all true at the same time. So at least one of them must be removed or modified to avoid the conflict. So in this mathematical model, the conflict is that N, which is one of our nurses, cannot be assigned at the same time to both the emergency and consultation shifts. So to avoid this particular conflict, one of the required shifts, that is one of the constraints assignments to shifts, must be removed. So here you can see the label that we have used for uh, one of our constraint sets. CT required assignment constraints is actually the label that we have used for this constraint set. And uh, we have two constraints in this constraints saying among other constraints, one of these constraints force N to work uh, in the emergency department on Monday from 8 a.m. to 12 p.m. And at the same time, the other constraint forces N to work uh, in the consultation department on Monday from 8 a.m. to 12 p.m. So actually, it's impossible to assign the same nurse to two different departments at the same time. So one person can only work in one department at the same time. So actually we need to remove one of these constraints or change them. When the model proves infeasible, CPLEX suggests the places where you can change the data or the way constraints are expressed so as to remove incompatibilities in the relaxations tab. In this example, the proposed relaxation consists of uh, changing the bound of the given constraint to 0, 1 instead of 1, 1. Actually, the relaxation refers to the constraints on required assignment. So based on the conflicts tab, two conflicting constraints belong to this constraint set. So based on the suggestions in the relaxations tab, this suggestion means that the quality, equality to one would no longer be mandatory in the relaxed model. So practically, it means that a feasible solution can be found and hence a schedule can be worked out if N is not necessarily assigned to consultation on Monday from 8 to 12 p.m. In order to apply this suggestion in the relaxation tab, to our mathematical model and input data in order to change our infeasible problem instance to a feasible problem instance, we should go to the data, data file. And in the data file, in this part, we have the list of required assignments which is given in the data file. So in order to apply the suggestions mentioned in the relaxation tab, we only need to relax the constraints related to N and consultation shift. So we only need to replace one in the fifth value from the left in the top row to zero. After modifying our data file that results in a new problem instance, we want to rerun our mathematical model to see how it changes our infeasible problem instance into a feasible problem instance. So 
again, I right click on the run configuration and select the default run configuration. And it takes a few seconds for CPLEX to solve the new test instance. And as you can see in the problem browser window, you cannot see the term relax solution anymore. Instead, you will have solution. And if we go back to the solutions tab, we see solution optimal. And we do not see the infeasibilities in this tab anymore. So this means that now we have a feasible problem instance that can be solved to optimality by CPLEX. So we could easily change our infeasible problem into a feasible problem using the suggestions provided by the conflicts and relaxations techniques of CPLEX. Mm -hmm.